As a foreigner who is a big fan of anime, it was interesting to see that a lot of African Americans love anime. I thought I was biased at first, I mean as a foreigner living in Asia, I don't really have much interactions with African Americans. So any instances of an African American saying they love anime stood out to me. My earliest memory was that kid that went Super Saiyan. It was very funny. Then there was RDC videos of Dragon Ball Z and in recent times famous UFC fighter Israel Adesanya and movie star Michael B. Jordan proclaimed their love for the medium. It was exciting to see a Naruto collaboration with the luxury brand Coach led by Michael B. Jordan. This wasn't a matter of chance or my own biases, there was a trend here. African Americans seem to really like anime, but why? As an outsider, it didn't make much sense to me, so I decided to find out myself. Before we delve into why African Americans love anime, we have to go back to when anime first aired in the US. Astro Boy was the first anime ad in the United States in the 1960s. The medium only achieved mainstream popularity in American culture in the 90s where TV stations like Cartoon Network began airing anime. Remember those Saturday and Sunday cartoon? Toonami on Cartoon Network was the source for the most influential anime in our lifetime. Dragon Ball Z, Gundam, Pokemon, all of them still popular to this day. Anime continued to grow in popularity, reaching new heights in the 2010s and 2020s where anime has become a part of mainstream culture enjoyed by many in America. With this historical context, it makes sense that some African Americans enjoyed watching anime. No two shows are alike. The voice acting was great, engaging, the plotline and character were more complex than your typical cartoons. The battle scene was stunningly animated. This answers part of why African Americans love anime. But it doesn't fully answer the question. I felt that it can't be as simple as that. For a minority group, there seems to be an absurd number of people who really like anime who are loudly proclaiming their love for it and how the stories resonated with them. Resonance, yes, that is the reason. In a Kotaku article on why black men love Dragon Ball Z, Malcolm Jones, an engineer at Adobe who describes himself as a techie nerd, sees similarities between Dragon Ball Z and hood classics like Scarface, Set It Off, and even Blade. He said, The thing that they all had in common is that the main character was always some sort of underdog. Something about having an underdog that can like raise up and make something happen. I think black men particularly identify themselves with that, he says. Most of us who have seen anime before would know of a few that features an underdog story. Most notably, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, and One Piece which is wildly popular in the entire world, and especially among the African American community. We have Dragon Ball Z telling the story of an underdog, an outsider. In his book The Tao of Wu, the rapper RZA says the story of Dragon Ball Z, he says, it represents the journey of the black man. You see it more clearly as the story goes on, he writes. Son Goku has superpowers and doesn't realize it. A head injury destroyed his memory, robbed his knowledge of self, then one day, gets stressed beyond his limits and hawks out into his alter ego, Super Saiyan, a nigger with dreadlocks. Some fans of the show relate to a character that doesn't know their heritage. I've been thinking a lot about where I come from and who came before me in my family. And circling back to Dragon Ball Z, it does resonate with me a lot, DJ Kirkland, a comic artist said. Those of us that are black and born in the United States, at least some of us to an extent don't know where we are from. And I feel that is something that a lot of people of color can identify with. Another similar anecdote by Tifron Ronald Kenzius about Afro Samurai from a Vice article. As a minority, my mom always said, you have three strikes against you. You are a man, so they won't go easy on you. You are foreign. I was born in South America and you are black, so you have to work extra hard cause you have those things going against you. As a community, you are trying to do better because stuff isn't in your favour. Afro Samurai is about how the samurai has a number 2 headband and he wants to defeat the man with the number 1 headband so he can be the best. The metaphor goes so deep. All these personal anecdotes show how powerful the stories and characters are in anime. These stories encapsulated the African American experience in the United States, the adversity they face as a minority group, the sense of powerlessness and being dehumanized. In the face of these trials and tribulations, they needed to be strong to overcome these obstacles in life. They had to rise up against the expectations of the majority people in the United States. This is an ultimate story of the underdog. 
That's why anime resonates so much with them. It not only provided a sense of comfort, but it showed them that they were meant for more and nothing could stop them from achieving their dreams. Just like Naruto who was outcasted by the village because he had the nine-tailed fox in him, and he eventually proved his worth by saving the village and becoming Hokage. Not only that, anime was hugely influential in the formative years of young African American. Many of them had a troubled family and they do not have a father figure. The anime heroes took the place of the role model and taught them values in life. The importance of perseverance, hard work, friendship and family. Beyond serving as a role model, anime provided a common experience for African American kids to bond together. It provided a distraction from the discrimination of daily life for black people. Andrew Eldridge shared an anecdote from his high school days. I own an Akatsuki jacket. It has brought my friend group so much closer. We would get mad at each other for taking too long to watch episodes. I got my family into it. I have used it to connect with so many loved ones, he says. I think I have answered my question of why black people love anime. What I learned from all this research is that we are not that different. Although I'm living at the other end of the world in Asia, our experience and relationship with anime is very much alike. I did not have a parental figure growing up. I learned all my values that I still am using to this day from anime. I laughed and I cried from anime. I learned from anime. It distracted me when my parents were fighting. I still enjoy anime and I'm still learning new things from anime. True anime. I made friends and I've become a better person. Anime transcends race, culture, boundaries and the values taught by anime are relevant to everyone. That is what is so special about anime. That's the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video essay. If you have enjoyed, please like, subscribe and comment and I will catch you guys next time.